Hello. I've made four short videos in which I want to see if I could use Python to do some very basic data analysis on some NFL data that I found on the web. Okay. Here is how I have split the four uh, videos. In this one, the first video, we'll look at how to get the data from the web and load it using Python. Then we're going to examine the rows and columns and see what our data looks like. Maybe just start looking at the statistics for numeric columns. The third video, I would like to create some bar plots, histograms, and compare the differences between the two. And finally, I would like to create some scatter plots. This is what I originally wanted to do to compare the home scores, uh, home team score with the away team score. And I want to see if there is a really any home court advantage that the home team has. Now let's get started with Python itself. First of all, I've opened up my Jupyter Notebook here and I'm importing three libraries here, Pandas, Seabone, and Matplotlib. If you have downloaded Anaconda, these libraries come with Anaconda, the distribution. So you should already have those. Let's run these. Okay, and we're running Python. So once it runs, I also happen to find a fairly good source of NFL data, which is what gave me the confidence to even try this. Let's see how it goes. So this, uh, I will make this link available in the video notes as well as I will share my notebook. But this uh, GitHub NFL scrape our data. I found that they had some very good data. So I'm going to go to the games data. Post season, pre season, regular season. Let's say we look at regular season and let's look at the latest season that is available, which is uh, 2018. Okay. So there you have, look at what you have. You have for every game, there's a game ID. Philly played Atlanta in the first week of this season and the scores were home score and away score. Okay, so that's all we have, a few useful columns. Now, this is important. So if you want to read this, there is this thing called raw. Just click on raw, which gives you the raw CSV file. This we can directly de read. We don't even need to download. Okay, so let me copy that URL. Let me go back to my Jupyter Notebook and I'm going to paste that URL. Okay. So notice how, uh, something. There is a regular games underscore 2018. So I could do actually do something cleverer instead of one by one. I can say that, hey, my base URL is up to this point. Then I will say that my year is uh, 2018. And then there is an ending. It just ends with this CSV business. Okay. So I took the URL and I made it into, broke it into three parts. Then I can actually construct my URL, which is simply nothing but my base URL plus the string of the year plus the coda. So now if I print the URL, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Why do I do this? Because I can quickly go and change this year to 2017. And there uh, it works. Okay. So later on, if I'm going to loop through many years, I could try this. But for now, let me go back to 2018 and let's see. Pandas has a very nice routine, of course, called read CSV URL. Does it work? Very nice. Okay, good. So I'm going to store it in DF data frame as is the convention. So I'm going to store this uh, the data frame. So now I have in one shot the entire season of 2018, 2017, 2018 season is already in my, sorry, it's 2018, 2019 season is in memory. So how big, what is the shape of it? I have 256 games and I have 10 columns. Let's see what our data looks like, right? We have the type, which is regular, game ID, home team, away team, useful, week number, season, post, state of game, post. I don't know exactly what that is. And then there is a game URL, which is about live update. But I don't think this game is all, these are all games in the past, so we don't need that. There is a home score and away score. Very good. To find out all the columns, we can even do this. If you say df.columns, it gives me all the columns in there. So I'm going to do, I, I don't want some of these columns. I like to keep my data frame clean, so I'm going to say the drop columns are I don't want maybe the type. Game ID seems useful. Week season is useful. I don't know that I want the state of game. 
and I don't want the game URL which sends me to nfl.com. Okay. I'm going to pick some drop columns and then I can say, hey, data from this data frame, drop these drop columns. Um, and then you have to say x is equal to one columns. Which columns to drop? If I drop there, much, much better. Now I have every column here is useful. Okay, there is a week number, season, home score. That's good. good. So now that I like it, I'm going to say, hey, do this in place, which means it will um, replace my data frame. Now, if I do data frame dot shape, notice that it was 256 rows, 10 columns. Now I have seven columns, so three columns, these three columns, which I didn't want, I have dropped them off. Okay. Good. Finally, we got the data going. Now let's start doing some analysis.